Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Megan with Believe in the Run. And what do we got for you today other than a full roundup of the ASICS lineup with a couple caveats. What's that? Well, some of these shoes might change before the end of 2023, but for right now, we're close enough. This is the best of the ASICS shoes of 2023 right now. We're gonna get started and just to let you know, might jump around a little bit because sometimes it's gonna be myself and this lovely lady, Megan, and sometimes it's gonna be Megan and the lovely Robbie, and sometimes it's gonna be me and Robbie. So we'll just see what's gonna happen. So don't Not get confused Robbie. if she turns into a little guy with a mustache <laughs> and I turn into a guy with a mustache and it flips back and forth. It's gonna get weird. And no offense, Robbie, uh, little guy, just smaller than me. He's not little, he's regular size. It's, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Megan, let's dive in. I guess we should start where we start. Let's start with the one that does it all. All right. This the is- Super Blast. Probably my favorite ASIC shoe ever. 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 Ever, ever. Ever, ever. What makes this shoe so special, Meg? So this is the shoe that can do it all. It's great for daily training. You can do recovery runs in it. You can race a marathon in it. You can run your tempo runs in it. It's It works for everything. We both ran a marathon in it. Happened to be in Tokyo. Tokyo. Yes, <laughs> drop that. <laughs> um, so it actually has the same nylon based flight foam turbo as the race day shoe, but you also get this layer here at the bottom, the like minty green layer. What does that make? That's the Blast Plus, which is that softer, um, cushier foam. It just works. It's a high stack. It's actually over the 40 millimeters. What does yeah, it land at? It's 45, I think they say 45 and a half which is always crazy, and then 37 in the forefoot, eight millimeter drop. The cushioning isn't super soft, and that was the thing that kind of threw us off in the beginning. We saw this fat stack of foam, and we we're like, this is gonna be soft, this is gonna be cushy. It's not, it's actually kind of firm and responsive. And at first I was like, uh, and then it really grew on me, and this became one of the shoes that I wanted to put the most miles on this past year. And lucky for you, this is one of the ones that we're talking about. We're doing the best of right now, I think before the end of the year, you might see a Super Blast V2. All right, Meg, so the Nimbus 25. This year, they really revamped the shoe. It's your Max Kush, high stag, high foam, soft shoe. This is a category that you love. Yeah, so we were just talking about how the Super Blast went over that legal limit of 40 millimeters, and this one is the same. It's 41 in the heel, 33 in the forefoot. Plenty of that very soft Flight Foam Blast Plus cushioning underfoot. It's a slumber shoe. Like you're going for a run, you don't want your feet to hurt, you don't want to feel the ground, you want after the run to feel fresh. This shoe does it and every piece of it is comfort, including the upper. They just did an amazing job. Meg, you said this is one of your favorite tongues in any this, shoe. This is, this is the best tongue of any shoe. It's like, I don't know how they made it so comfortable and so light. And, and stretchy. It's, yeah, and it's stretchy and it's just, it's absolutely lovely. The comfort on this shoe is unparalleled. What do you use this shoe for? This is my recovery day, like that real easy run. I love this shoe after like that hard workout that next day when your legs are a little tired, you're just gonna go out there and slog. This is great for that. We forgot to mention that it also has pure gel in it. So you're not seeing the visible technology in the ASIC shoes that you used to, like a slab of gel here, but they have embedded it in the midsole so that you're getting a softer, lighter feel, and it still gets rid of that vibration or that shock absorption that you're looking for from ASICs. This is a really fantastic shoe. Again, I'd probably go Super Blast just because it's more versatile, yep. but this one was definitely a favorite this year. Yeah, and if you prefer a softer ride versus the Super Blast, which is a bit firmer, this would definitely be your go-to. You're not gonna wanna use this for those faster days. This is strictly for those easy days, those recovery runs, and it's just a comfortable, good shoe. And I found you like wearing this when you weren't running as well, like yeah. you threw this on a lot, so you like it for just like Walking a daily around, shoe. casual, it's, it's great. Um, and this one comes in at $160. The next shoe in our ASICS lineup is the Magic Speed 3. Now this was one of my favorite updates from ASICS this year. The one and the two didn't really do it for me. You got a full length Flight Foam Blast Plus midsole with a full length carbon plate in it. And I have to tell you, this is the more affordable race day shoe from ASICS. It has a similar upper 
to the Metaspeed Sky and Edge. I think this Flight Foam Blast Plus, which is a little bit softer of cushioning, paired with that carbon fiber plate, really gives you that soft bounce that I love. So while maybe I would choose the, the Metaspeed Sky for you know a longer distance race, I felt especially this one was great for those shorter distances. Um, and it's comfortable. You, like Thomas was saying, you get the same um, upper that you get with the race day shoes, but you just get a little bit of a lower stack, lower profile, and a different foam underfoot. Weird thing for me though, Meg, is you're typically a high stack person, and this isn't particularly high. Yeah, no, this is 36, 29, so seven millimeter drop. But I felt like because this cushioning is a little bit softer, maybe it was okay and I could get away with that less stack um, because of the comfort from that softer foam. This isn't gonna be my pick for those longer distances, but I think for the fast you know, workouts, fast, fast runs and the shorter distance races, this is a solid option, not to mention it's coming in at $160, so that's nearly $100 less than a race day shoe. This is definitely one of our favorites of 2023. Kind of surprised us, to be honest. But um, if you do want that, you know, fast day feel without the giant price tag, Magic Speed is where it's at. All right, so we're now talking about ASICS race day shoes for 2023, both the Metaspeed Sky Plus and the Metaspeed Edge, Edge Plus. Plus. Yes, and we had differing views on these shoes. I was surprised at which one I preferred. Maybe I wasn't, I don't know. But which one did you prefer, man? I preferred the Sky Plus. This one has a little bit of a lower drop, a little bit more stack in the forefoot. So it's 39 millimeters, 34 in the forefoot, five millimeter drop versus eight millimeter drop in the edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and stack height, same in the heel, 39, 31 in the forefoot. What I loved about the edge is that it has a snappy toe off feel. You really feel it in the forefoot. Uh, and that's because the plate configuration is different in yeah. these shoes. In the edge, it comes, it's more aggressive, so like a spoon shape where it goes down like this. It's the, in the forefoot, it's lower, closer to the ground. It also has a different geometry, whereas where the toe in this is more aggressive and that's more just rounded out. They are fairly similar, but for whatever reason, I gravitated towards the Sky Plus a little bit more. This is definitely one of the firmer racing shoes. This turbo foam is not very soft, especially paired with the carbon fiber plate. It's a pretty firm underfoot feel in general. So I liked this a lot for the shorter distances. Personally, I this is probably my favorite race day shoe. Anything for half marathon under, I'm still going with this. I love the aggressive feel of the shoe. It's just hard to find that in a lot of race day shoes. The other thing we didn't mention was this motion wrapped upper. It's the exact same in both models. It's also the same in that Magic Speed 3 we talked about. So it's just super light. It, it works. Yeah, it's not the best upper in my opinion, but it's it does the job. It does everything you need it to. These come in at $250, same price tag. Yep. Um, and yeah. All right, cool. All right, Robbie, this is one of my favorites. It's the baby brother to the Super Blast. It's the Nova Blast 3. I love this shoe. I took it out to Oregon with us. The only complaint people had on this shoe was the rubber on the outsole, but we'll get there. And this is another shoe that we're probably gonna see an update to before the end of this year. Yeah, so this has a Flight Film Blast Plus midsole. Bouncy, comfortable, pretty straightforward. 41 millimeter stack in the, in the heel, 33 in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. Uh, pretty straightforward daily trainer, but has a little bit of extra magic in there. This would be one of my top picks, like regardless of year, regardless of when, for just that daily trainer that you can just use for everything. I love this shoe. For the price of this, I mean, it's like $140. It's really hard to go wrong. It just gobbles miles. We said a little something about the rubber. It didn't have the Ahar Plus rubber on it. I'm gonna guess when we get the new one coming out later this year, that it may have okay. a better rubber on it. I'm one of the people that didn't complain about the rubber. I mean, I wore this sucker down to the foam. I didn't have any issues with like sliding around, slipping or not having grip. Yeah. Did you? I mean, I prefer the Super Blast. I wore that as much as I could. So that's my go-to shoe. But again, that's uh, $200. $60 more. Yeah. So, but if you're just looking for something that's, you know, a little more budget friendly, then this is, it does a lot of what the Super Blast does, but just- I also think this is one of those shoes we can recommend to anyone, no matter your running level, no matter where you are in the sport, yeah. just beginning, you've been running forever. This shoe just is like, pull it out, throw it in the back of your car, and you always have a good running shoe with you. For sure. It's, I, I just can't say enough about the shoe. This is, again, one of my favorite ASIC shoes. 
Of course, Robbie's right. The Super Blast is a little more elevated. Eleva elevated. There you go. Elevated. Um, but you can't go wrong with either shoe. All right. Next up, Robbie, is the Cumulus 25. Not really sure why this shoe exists in the lineup other than it's a legend. Yeah, it's almost you know, like it's here just to be here. It's the it's kind of sister shoe to the to the Nimbus. It's actually kind of like floats in between the Nimbus and Kayano because it's got a wide base that's pretty stable. It doesn't feel as soft and cushy, even though it's got the Fight Foam Blast Plus, as say like the Nova Blast or even the Nimbus there. I would go Nova Blast over this and I would go Nimbus over this. Like pretty much every shoe I would go over this. Well, I feel like they're just keeping that Cumulus number going. And this kind of used to be a budget model but it seems like the price keeps going up in this what is so this, this one is 140 which is the same as at this point the, the nova blast but it's 20 dollars cheaper than the nimbus but it doesn't have the squish and soft feel of the nimbus it looks similar to the nimbus doesn't have the great tongue that megan was talking about that she liked in the nimbus just got a standard puffy tongue in this one this is the one if i was going to skip one in this lineup that we're talking about Wow. That'd be the next one. There you go. All right, but Robbie, say you need stability. It's needed. Some people need it. Ankles are all over the place. Look like uh, Aaron Rodgers out there. And who's been around stability longer than the Kayano? Yeah, uh, not many. I don't know who, anything right now. 30 years going on. Now, we're not stability people, so we ran in this shoe. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, it's just like, I wasn't that into it, but I gotta say, our stability, stability reviewers love this shoe. I think every one of them gave it an awesome review. Personally, it just felt like a, a very standard trainer to me, mm -hmm. but if you do need that stability, it does it in a way that's more modern. It has a you know harder piece of foam right here. A little bit of posting. Yeah. Not like the traditional posting where you saw that block of right. hard foam. Um, and then it also has a really wide base here. So you're getting a, a pretty secure landing there. You're also gonna see the way that the heel's done, that it is trying to help you not pronate inward. What's weird about this shoe is a lot of the ASICs pro athletes love this shoe for their daily trainer I don't know why, maybe their legs need the stability after running so fast. Yeah, it has the Flight Foam Blast Plus midsole, so you are getting that softer foam, but not too soft. And you um, still got the pure gel in it. Yeah, it has the pure gel, you gotta keep the gel, it's in the name. And I, I gotta say, cause it's here right here on the midsole here, they call it their 4D guidance system. Whatever it is, it works in this shoe. If you need a stability shoe and you want one from ASICS, this is the one. And this is $160, which is right there with a lot of the stability shoes. By the way, we didn't mention the stack height either. 40 millimeters in the heel. Pretty high stack for a stability shoe, for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, 30 millimeters in the forefoot. 10 millimeter drop. So Robbie, I'm not on the trails that often. I'm really trying to work on my road game, but I went out on the trails more this year than I have in the past year. And one run that we did, we were out in the hills and I tried this shoe, the Trabuco Max 2. Mm -hmm. And bud, they, you couldn't get me off the trails. Yeah, I didn't know how many loops I was gonna do, but I ended up doing 20 miles and the last two miles were just me running around because I wanted to get to 20 and the shoe still felt great on my feet. And I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite trail shoes I've run in. Yeah, I mean, it's a monster truck of a trail shoe. You're talking- a fat tire. Yeah, fat tire, bike style, kind of in that realm of the Brooks Caldera. Just a big beefy shoe, but it's, it's it has actually has a lot of comfort with the Flight Foam Blast Plus midsole, but it's not too unstable. You can see with the uh, pretty wide platform here that you're getting some stability there. Uh, it just rolls over everything, especially if you're going downhill. The traction I thought was actually somewhat surprising. Um, really I, surprising. Yeah, the A6 grip rubber I thought did really well. You said it rolled over everything. I wore that shoe that day and some other trail runs. Never rolled my ankle. Yeah, I, and again, that's partly because of this wide base, you're not gonna get too, uh, it's not gonna be too unstable for you. Um, the only problem I maybe have is there's a little bit of room in the upper, but I don't know, did, I, don't, I don't think you had that problem, but I just thought that there could have been a little more structure maybe, or just maybe there's too much room for me, but yeah. I did like the shoe a lot. I thought that, and for, uh, it's a pretty high stack. It's like 43 millimeters in the heel, 38 millimeters in the toe. And then you have, of course, little spot for your gator to come in. You have a gator hook up in the front. 
We don't have it right here, and I actually haven't run the newest version, but the A6 Fuji Lite is also a great trail option. It's actually kind of one of those sleeper hits that people really love. That That's like a faster shoe, right? Yeah, it's like more of your just like either race or just general like race or a general trail shoe. And a lot of people love that shoe. It's kind of a one that goes under the radar. So check that one out too if you're looking for a trail option from A6. All right, Robbie, I think that wraps up all our ASICs for right now. Like we said, there's probably two shoes that are coming out later this year, which is gonna be the Super Blast and the Nova Blast. Fingers crossed, oh, we'll be getting updates to them. I didn't even know that. The, new, the newest Super Blast? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. But we're really excited about those. We've seen maybe some of the updates that will happen to it, and they all look great. Other than that, ASICs line has you from top to bottom. I can't think of another shoe line that really covers all the bases of the way that ASICs is right now. Any other thoughts, Thomas? Uh, shoes to look out for, things that we're looking for coming from ASICs? No, but we tried their trail apparel. I know that they have some other apparel coming out this year, some collaborations, mm -hmm. not with us, but okay. you know, there's some cool collaborations coming out. Keep an eye out for that. You might be able to guess if you're following what's going on in New York City this year mm. with ASICs. I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see where the Meta Speed, where like the race day shoes go. I think there's a little room for improvement. For improvement in that I area. I think they've really nailed down again the daily trainers, um, the Nova Blast, Super Blast have been hits for them. I think, and just the the overhaul with the Gel Nimbus is has been a game changer, especially coming from a traditional brand that kind of you know, in the past is slow kind of, to move forward. Yeah, but I mean, they really amped it up and yeah. I think it's it's paying off for them. Yeah, five years ago, we wouldn't be doing the same review that we're doing now. The team at ASICS has just kicked some butt and uh, kudos and hats off to all of you over there. Keep an eye out. In the meantime, we're gonna do some other roundups of other brands, so keep your eye out for that. Mm -hmm. Regular reviews are coming out, so you might wanna subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and like this video, especially if it's your first time here. Give us a little like there, we'd appreciate it. Check out our weekly email. We've got two podcasts, The Drop and Fuel for the Soul. Check those out and subscribe yeah. to our email that Robbie writes. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We'll try to get to them. There's usually a ton on these videos, so it might be hard to give you personal recommendations for all of them, but we answer as we see them. Sometimes, sometimes we get to them. Sometimes it's just what mood we're in. Yeah, so, yeah. All, right. all right, thanks. Zip, zip. <laughs> what is floating around? <laughs> Can you take the price of that shit real quick? Oh, jeez.